Professor Pendry, could you give an overview of the findings of your paper controlling electromagnetic fields? Yes, we, we have a, a theory which um, is designed to control electromagnetic fields and we wanted to um, make this a little more exciting so we thought of something uh, extraordinary that we might be able to do with this and, and that extraordinary thing was, was cloaking. And the way we do this is to, um, first of all, we have to prevent an object from reflecting some light so you can't see it in reflected light. But that's not enough because if you play squash, the black squash ball, you can see the ball even though it's black, it has a shadow. Uh, and, and that second thing, removing the shadow, is the really difficult task and, and I think that that would sum up what, what we've achieved in, with our theory. We're able to remove shadows and so hide something completely. And why is this paper being cited by so many other authors? Well, the, the problem of cloaking something from electricity and magnetism is an old problem which people have been trying to solve for a long time and ours is the first complete solution. And also I think that, that cloaking is a, a surprising and extraordinary thing and I, I think that excites scientists just as much as uh, the general public are, are excited by the, the possibility. Where are you going to take your research next? Well, we've uh, cloaked uh, an object from light or, or to be more accurate, uh, cloaked it from radar waves. but. Uh, you can also use a theory to, to hide something from a magnetic field and that's relevant to magnetic resonance uh, imaging experiments where very intense magnetic fields which can cause damage um, to, to instruments though not to the human body and we're working with some of our experimentalists here in the Blackett laboratory to devise a cloak which will keep something hidden from a magnetic field and therefore unharmed by it.